guys, Jessica here, the Friday Family Coach. Thank you for returning to my channel. If you are new here, thank you so much for being here. Look right down there, right down there. That subscribe button is red. Go ahead and click it, turn it gray. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. We are talking about retractable leashes in this video and the top 10 reasons why you should never, ever, ever use a retractable leash. So this is actually a retractable leash that I um, had a client of mine decided to go ahead and relinquish to me because she knew that it, she shouldn't be using it. So um, this is not something that I would ever recommend anybody buying or using. But for the purposes of this video, I did want to pull it out just so that I can show you exactly what it is I'm talking about. Um, a retractable leash, like you can see here, it retracts and um, usually has some sort of handle or strap that you can attach to you. And it has a locking mechanism generally where you can like it, it won't pull any further so what i tend to see is this going on <laughs> with a lot of dogs um, on these retractable leashes so let's get right into the video 10 reasons why you should never ever never ever use a retractable leash all right so the very first reason why you should never ever ever use a retractable leash some of these things are very very long now, I don't know what the leash law is in your particular county or state. They do vary in California. Uh, right now, I believe it is six feet. Some of these retractable leashes can go up to 26 feet. So you definitely are violating leash laws, but more importantly, your dog can get away from you and be in danger. First of all, they can uh, get away from you and walk up to unfamiliar dogs or people that that may, may not wind up being a very good situation for your dog. They can also get away from you walking to the street or oncoming traffic, whatever. I mean, there are so many dangers of letting your dog on a retractable leash. They're getting way too far away from you and it is very unsafe. Continuing into the second reason why you should never use a retractable leash, we're still talking about how far away your dog can get from you. Imagine your dog is 20 feet away from you because they're on one of these retractable leashes and they are approached by an aggressive dog or they approach an aggressive dog. It is going to be nearly impossible for you to, to quickly and effectively get in control of that situation because your dog is entirely too far away from you. If your dog were on a six foot flat leash like they should be, then you will not be too far away from your dog. You can easily get in control of the situation and you, you'll you be there. So you can mediate and mitigate whatever may be going on. All right, reason number three that you should never ever use a retractable leash. These really teeny tiny, thin, I mean these cords on here are so incredibly thin. Now, granted the one in my hand is for an extra small dog, but they don't they don't make them much bigger or thicker than this, even on the ones that are designed for larger dogs. And this is a problem for a couple of reasons. One, if you have a large dog or a very strong dog, a strong puller, they can easily snap and break uh, this the the leash that is in this retractable contraption here. And that's dangerous for two reasons. One, because your dog gets away. They can, whatever it is they're chasing, they can get to and they can hurt someone or something potentially. But also when it breaks, this can fly back up in your face or your body or maybe a child walking next to you and cause some serious damage. So that's reason number three that you should never ever use a retractable leash. All right, reason number four, you should never ever use a retractable leash is because when you are walking your dog, say your dog gets to the end, all the way to the end of however many feet are in the retractable leash that you have purchased, that, that's making some, some noise, sorry about that. When your dog gets to the end of the, the leash in whatever contraption you have purchased, or if your dog starts walking around you and you get tangled up in this cord that is inside of this retractable leash, that is incredibly dangerous because it is retractable. So if you grab this while it is extended, you can wind up, you or your dog could wind up with cuts burns, and in some cases, in some extreme cases, there's even been cause for amputation because of damages done by these retractable cords. And kind of what I was talking about in the last reason, if your dog manages to get to the end of this and they are a very strong dog, a very strong puller, some people have 
actually been pulled to the ground and dragged by their dogs, resulting in bruises and other damages, even road rash, which can be very dangerous. And speaking of injuries, reason number five, I know we should never use these, should we, Kimmy? We should never ever use one of these, and you have not had one on, no you haven't. Reason number five, speaking of injuries, that you should not use a retractable leash. Many dogs have been very seriously injured because of how these work. So if your dog has, you know, no tension whatsoever, and all of a sudden you click this button and it, your dog jerks on this leash, now, this is especially true if you have a collar on your dog and you attach a leash to a collar, which I never recommend doing. I always recommend attaching to a harness, but that's another video. In fact, I have done that video and I will link it below. But a lot of damage has been done to dogs who have either reached the end and been jerked or all of a sudden their human on the other end decides to pull and, and lock the leash in place. Dogs have been, have had neck injuries, spinal injuries, and worse because of this function on this leash. Number six, the sixth reason you should never use this retractable leash is because dogs have a lot of freedom on this type of leash. They can get far away from their owners, they can go fast, they can go slow, and if you have an aggressive dog or a dog that pulls, this is especially not good. It is not helping. It is, it is making the situation worse if your dog is pulling. And as a dog trainer, I can verify that for sure. But to other dogs, the type of walk that a dog on a retractable leash is allowed to have can look very aggressive to other dogs that they encounter. And another dog may actually choose to fight back because your dog's behavior and action because of this retractable leash looks dangerous to them. So it can, it can wind up hurting your dog in that way as well. The seventh reason you should never use a retractable leash. Now this particular retractable leash has um, this loop that you can put around your wrist, but most retractable leashes that you see have a handle on the top. It's a really big bulky plastic handle that you hold and then the, the contraption for the retractable leash is down below that. Now that is very big and bulky and our grip may not always be great on there. So it's something that can easily be pulled out of our hands, which is very dangerous. Having a regular flat leash that has a loop at the top like this, where you, you can hold it like this, you can wrap it around your wrist, that's gonna be much safer for you and your dog. All right, the eighth reason to not use a retractable leash, and this is kind of a scenario. So I wanna kind of put you in this scenario, in this mental state of, Imagine if you are a fearful dog and you hear, say, say you have one of those retractable leashes with a big bulky handle on the top and you lose your grip and it falls on the ground. Now your fearful dog will be scared of this loud noise and they may bolt off, which one is dangerous enough because they can bolt into oncoming traffic depending on where you are. They could run a way that you, you can't chase them. They're so fast, they're so far ahead of you, you don't know where they went. But think about this. If a dog's fear is another dog or something chasing them, and they have this large, bulky, plastic object that is behind them, essentially chasing them as they run because you've dropped it out of your hand, I mean, they're gonna be scared out of their mind. This is a real scenario. This is not something I'm making up. This is something that has happened to multiple dogs and there have been multiple testimonials of dogs having this happen to them and they just keep running and running and running because they can't escape this, whatever it, it, this thing is that is chasing them, that is making this loud noise constantly as it's hitting the pavement or wherever it's hitting. And your dog is in fear and just keeps running and, and it just becomes harder and harder to to find them, to chase them, and your dog is terrified in the process. So they're, they're even more and more scared to go on walks. I mean, it just snow, it's a snowball effect of fear and anxiety that your dog goes through. And if, if you do have a fearful dog to begin with, or even if you don't have a fearful dog and then this happens, they could become very fearful and become fearful of going out on walks. And so, you know, it's just, it's not a good situation all around. It's a very poor design. Um, and I don't know who came up with it, but 
is a very poor design, both for humans and for dogs, and very dangerous. And we've got two more reasons to go. All right, reason number nine that you should never use one of these retractable leashes. Retractable leashes, like all other retractable devices out there, malfunction and fail over time. Either they are going to refuse to extend, they're going to refuse to um, retract, they could just start unspooling at will, which if this happens while you're out on a walk is incredibly dangerous no matter which way you look at it, whether it is not extending or not retracting or just unspooling at will. Any one of these situations is to say less than ideal would be an understatement. All right, reason number 10 that you should never use a retractable leash, and I've already hinted to this, but as a dog trainer, if your dog is not well-mannered on a leash, if your dog pulls, if your dog is aggressive, if your dog just does not walk well on a leash to begin with, then putting them on a retractable leash is detrimental. You are not going to get anywhere. You're not going to be able to train appropriately. Your dog is not going to learn the behavior you want out of them. And you're going to be frustrated. Your dog is going to be frustrated. Walks are not going to go well. You're not going to be happy. Your dog is not going to be happy. Don't use them. Just by their very nature, a retractable leash teaches your dog to pull while on leash. It teaches them that they can get wherever they want to go. It teaches them that it is okay to pull on lead. How many, I mean, literally one of, it, one of the, I mean, the top complaints I get from people who seek my training for their dogs is that they do not walk well on a leash, that they pull on leash. This is not helping. This is making matters worse. This is actually teaching your dog to pull on leash. It is teaching your dog to, to not act appropriately while on leash. And that's not what you want. So stop using these things, guys. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. The top 10 reasons why you should never, ever, ever use one of these horrid contraptions that I wish did not exist. If you have one, throw it away. Buy a flat six foot lead. I will link to my favorites in the uh, description box below. In fact, I'll go ahead and link to my new dog checklist, which contains both harnesses and leashes and everything else that you need for your dog. It's an Amazon list. You can go right down it and anything you don't have, anything you need, go ahead and add it to your cart. My favorite products right down there. Just click the link. You'll go right to Amazon and you'll be able to get whatever you need. So I promise you, you will not see one of these on my checklist. You will not because they're horrid, awful, awful contraptions. Do not use them. All right, guys, if you have any questions, please post in the comments below. If you just have a comment, go ahead and post in the comments below. I'd love to hear what's going on with you. If you had one of these and had a bad experience, let me know about that as well. Or if you're using one of these and you're like, I don't have any problems. Well, you're one of the rare few and I hope you continue to not have problems, but I would still advise that you switch to a regular six foot flat leash. Yeah, so go ahead and comment below and let me know what's going on with you and your dog. If you haven't already, make sure to check the description and join the group, join the family. Let me know what's going on with you and your dog. You can post pictures and videos. You can help other pet parents in the group. There are thousands of other pet parents in the group just waiting for you to join as well as myself. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Thank you so much for being here. If you look right down there and that subscribe button is red, go ahead and click it and turn it gray. When you do, a bell will appear. Click the bell, select all notifications. That way YouTube can notify you every single time I post a new video. I'll also give this video a thumbs up. It's the best compliment you can give. And thank you so much for being here. I will see you in our next video. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.